right, that's enough. I'm going to go to our guest because I, I wanted to get him on when I saw a constellation of articles just for a brief little interview. I'll be with us till five after, and then I got Jerome Corsi popping in. I saw a constellation of articles in the last week, and I wanted to get him on about this. Ben Fuchs is a very successful registered pharmacist, nutritionist, cosmetic chemist, and founder of EcoComp Pharmacy and Rocky Mountain Natural Laboratories. Very successful inventor, uh, formulator in his own right. And uh, he's a talk show host here on Genesis in the morning before I come on. And he's an advisor to InfoWarsHealth.com. And, and, but we're not here to plug InfoWarsHealth.com. Uh, I'll do that at the end, of course. It's, it's important. It funds us. But most importantly, it's super good products that are there. And the free shipping available at InfoWarsHealth.com, the lowest prices. But the point here is, is that Ben Fuchs, I wanted to get him on to talk about a constellation of stories here. And I wanted to talk about this first. Two new studies. A document can please for TV viewers. Harvard School of Public Health, impact of fluoride on neurological development in children finds a massive IQ uh, reduction when just one year of the 1.6 parts per million that the government recommends in the water, they've now cut that down because of these studies, causes on average upwards of 20 point IQ reduction. And then it gets into the other 20 plus studies of cancer, you name it. Okay, the stuff they're putting in your water is one, I mean, the, you can't blame the public. They're a bunch of brain damaged zombies. Those of us that would have had 160 IQs have 140 IQs. Those of us that would have had 100 IQ got 80 IQs. And God forbid you were going to have an 80 IQ, folks, you've got like a 60. I mean, you can hardly tie your shoelaces and, 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 or even understand what I'm saying. Mission accomplished. Why won't they hire cops now under uh, over 100 IQ? That's on record. Because they found people under 100 IQ will not figure things out. So if, if you're wondering why you didn't get accepted to the force, you got to go in there and act stupid on, on the test, but act like you'll follow orders. That's what they're looking for. I saw a group of cadets. I'm not going to get into it. A large portion could hardly swim, and some had to be fished out and could not swim and had to be put in life jackets. At, at, at a thing I saw at Deep Eddy. I mean, I mean, come on, folks. you got to look to find people like that. That's not what cops used to be like. Okay, so again, I mean, they want... People dumber than a box of rocks. And it's it's like that across the board. Because smart people tend to not want to be slaves. Now, here's another one. So so they've been putting in the water since the late 40s. What the Soviets and the Nazis put in the water, dumb people down on record. Look it up. It's Pulitzer Prize winning books on the Soviets and the Nazis putting fluoride in the water to make you docile. I mean, it's just so over the top they get away with it. Now, here's the business insider. How avoiding uh, fluoride can actually help your brain cells. I'm going to get to a study on that, but here's the other article. How adding iodine to salt resulted in a decade's worth of IQ gains for the United States. And it's a Business Insider article. They started in 1924, uh, took it out, uh, stopped the mandate a few decades later, and they found a massive IQ increase in the studies on that. Now, Enter the fluoride that's meant to lower your IQ. So see, it shows the different elements in government. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And so we're going to be getting to all that. And also the demonization of fish oil. And all these New York Times articles saying, oh, you don't need vitamins. They're bad for you. Insane stuff. Pharmacist Ben Fuchs joins us. Uh, what is your take on this? And now the New York Times coming out. And I also have one out of the what Wall Street Journal saying the vitamin myth, why we think we need supplements. I, I mean, I mean, they're really pushing this. But first, get into the fluoride for us, pharmacist Ben Fuchs, and the uh, the because you're always hype, hyping up and, and 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 harping on iodine to me privately. Iodine, iodine, iodine. You know the proper seaweeds, the uh, the amount of phylum we sell at InfoWarsStore.com. What is going on with the iodine? Well, first of all, God bless you, Alex, for the work you're doing. I mean, you're just, you're amazing. People should be getting their news, their health news from you, not the New York Times. Secondly, iodine is the leading cause of mental retardation in children around the world, iodine deficiency, that is. So we've known about the relationship between iodine and brain health for, for decades. Uh, at the same time, we've known about the antagonistic relationship between fluoride and iodine, so that while iodine deficiency causes mental retardation, fluoride increases iodine deficiency by acting, ant acting antagonistically. So this is not news to biochemists. This is not news to nutritional chemists. It may be mainstream news, but it's not news to people who are in the know. Iodine, by the way, is much more than a brain nutrient, and it's much more than a thyroid nutrient. Most people recognize it as being important for the thyroid, but what a lot of people don't recognize is that I iodine is important for all of the glands in your body. It is a glandular mineral. That means for 
for not just your thyroid gland, but for your pancreas, which is a, which is a gland, for your thymus, which is a major immune gland, for your adrenal glands, and we know millions of people are dealing with adrenal health issues. What this all boils down to is the fact that there is a war on, not just for our minds, Alex, but for our biochemistry. We are biochemical beings. We interpret the world through our biochemistry. We walk through the world through our biochemistry. We live our lives as biochemical entities. And what you're seeing, as evidenced by these, all of these studies that are coming out against fish oil and against vitamins, is a manipulation, an attempt to manipulate the human biochemical being. And the only, uh, the only way we have to protect ourselves from this kind of biochemical... And by the way, just to back you up for radio listeners, because there's all these articles saying don't have iodine, it's evil, it's horrible, the government loves you. Here's the New York Times admitting millions of retarded children every decade from lack of iodine. China yes. confronts retardation of millions deficient in iodine. And so they put fluoride in that blocks the iodine, yes. takes yes. over the glands, the pineal, you name it. Yes. They yes. know exactly what, listen, I take Modifiline that you and I know also the health ranger said, no, this is the stuff. Since I've been taking that for a year, we sell it at InfoWarsHealth.com, I get high off of it. I mean, I get I get crazed off of off of that seaweed. What's happening? Oh my goodness! Seaweed is the most powerful food on the planet, and what's happening to the oceans is singularly affecting not just the fish but the seaweed. Fortunately, seaweed has has a, a detoxification molecules that help protect it. But the fact of the matter is, is that the trashing of our oceans not only affects our fish, but it also affects the stuff that grows in our fish. Bottom line: there are so many ways that we can protect ourselves from the rape of our bio chemical bodies and I'm saying that with intent that's exactly what is occurring our not our physical bodies are being uh, raped it's our biochemical bodies that are being raped by manipulation through chemtrails through toxins in the water through uh, uh, mandatory vaccinations through prescription drugs it's almost endless the ways that our biochemistry is being manipulated but Alex, the good news is, is that via things like nutritional supplementation, via nutritional supplements like the Beyond Tang Tangerine, via seaweed, via the, the uh, modif Modifilon like you were talking about, via good food, via eating less, we can take control of our bodies, we can take control of our biochemistry so we can have the strength to withstand the onslaught, not just against our biochemistry, but also against our minds. Because as you say, every day, there's a war on for our minds, but as long as our bodies are weak, as long as we are sick, we're not going to be able to handle this war. So job number one so that we can handle the war on for our minds is to take care of our biochemistry, to take care of our, our biochemical bodies. And the message that I've been talking about now for going on 20 years is the key to the whole process is to get yourself on a powerful nutritional supplement program. It's like armor to with, be able to withstand the biochemical onslaught that's coming at us from, from all kinds of different fronts. I've got an article here, Pharmacist Ben Fuchs, uh, written by uh, the Paul Offit, the same guy that said kids can have thousands of vaccines. He right. says the vitamin myth, why we think we need supplements. Well, it's on record that most of the soils are depleted. And I've had um, people like Dr. Dina Dell on before who says you don't need vitamins. And I go, you mean you don't need vitamins if the food had what you needed, but you admit the soil is depleted. And he went, well, yes, you're right on that front. So they're obviously being pushed to, to tell people, now we see, oh, fish oil gives you uh, cancer uh, of the, uh, you know, certain different parts of the uh, uh, body, like the prostate. I want to come back and talk about these incredible lies, because I saw your counter to it. I saw... Uh, the counters by medical doctors and others saying this is ridiculous. Everybody knows fish oil does amazing things. Uh, also tell us about some of the other vitamins and minerals that are known to just turn off uh, the colon cancer cells, the Clemson study uh, with Beyond Tangy Tangerine folks, by the way, found a massive reduction in cancer cells. I mean, th th these are real studies and they don't want you to know about it. By the way, um, Weldon Henson was the first person around the office to listen to Mike Adams about Montefiolin and the comba seaweed it gets from the South Pacific and areas down by New Zealand that don't have the pollution of the Northern Hemisphere or anywhere near it. And he was like, man, my hair is growing faster. My nails are growing faster. I'm, I've lost weight. I'm healthy. 
and, and he religiously takes his monophyllin. I was thinking, I haven't taken monophyllin in about a week. There's so many great supplements. We sell it at the lowest price anywhere at InfoWarsStore.com. You can find all the great longevity products discounted at InfoWarsHealth.com. But I'm going to take my monophyllin right now. Now, briefly, because I want to get uh, into some of the other medical news happening with pharmacist Ben Fuchs. What do you make of the Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0, now non-GMO, pesticide-free, whole food, certified, 8,000 total ORAC per serving score? Well, I'll tell you something. Beyond Tangy Tangerine is always a wonderful product, but if anybody had any kind of knocks on it, it would, be, it would have been the, uh, the GMO stuff, and the new Beyond Tangy Tangerine is non-GMO. You know, I've been talking about BTT now for 16 years, Alex, and I, it, it was called uh, Tangy Tangerine before it was called Beyond Tangy Tangerine, and when I say that this stuff is the single most amazing supplement that you can take in terms of, in terms of a, uh, a, a liquid supplement, I'm telling you based I'm telling you this based on my observations of literally hundreds if not thousands of different patients who have exhibited Exactly in fact you promoted I'm told over a decade before you even got involved with longevity That's exactly right I got involved with it as a pharmacist because I saw that people were getting off their prescription drugs by using the the tangy tangerine at the time then they went to beyond tangy tangerine now it's beyond tangy tangerine 2.0 and I blogged about this at pharmacistben.com it's a liquid format it's loaded with nutrients it's it's non-GMO, and the beautiful thing about the liquid format is it means if you have digestive problems, you're not going to be absorbing your nutrients and your supplements, uh, your ordinary supplements, but because it's a liquid, it goes right to work, it bypasses any digestive problems, and you feel the effects within 24 to 48 hours, effects like weight loss, effects like appetite suppression, and most importantly, from the way I look at it, effects like a, a, a reduction, an ability to reduce your prescription drugs. Now, let me talk about, real quick, about this vitamin myth article, because you could tell how ignorant the author of this article is, or whoever wrote the headline was, by this idea of equating vitamins with supplements. You see, Alex, there are a lot of times medical professionals will talk about vitamins when they mean supplements. The word vitamin is a very specific term. There's only uh, there's only two water-soluble vitamins, uh, uh, a little bit more if you consider the B-complex individually, and four fat-soluble vitamins. Basically six vitamins, 16 if you consider them all, all the sub-vitamins. In any case, vitamins are not optional. They are not optional because if you d are deficient in them, you suffer a deficiency disease. Deficiency diseases like your gums, fall, uh, your teeth breaking, uh, falling off of your gums. That's called scurvy. Deficiency diseases like where you can't move your nerves or you can't move your muscles. That's called beriberi. Deficiency diseases uh, like pellagra, diarrhea, dermatitis, dementia, and death. And what's worse, you have sub clinical deficiency diseases, that is deficiency diseases that don't show up as death or will you have to go end up in the hospital, but just show up as a little bit for forgetfulness or a little bit of loose stools or rashes that your doctor will tell you are unexplained. Well, let me stop you. We're going to come back in five more minutes and let you finish, but I have a Suzanne Humphreys article by Dr. Suzanne Humphreys uh, from last year, and, and it links through to the transcript of his speech on his own site. Vaccine inventor Paul Offit seeks end to religious and philosophical vaccine exemption. So he wants to make you take all their toxic bilge, like Gardasil that Japan's banned, but he's in the Atlantic uh, monthly saying the vitamin myth don't take vitamins. I mean, this guy's got to know what he's doing. Well, vitamins are the best way to protect yourself from vaccines. So if you're, if you're going to be stuck using vaccines, at least get your uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, your vitamin C, your B-complex, your uh, essential minerals to protect yourself from the toxicity. But they're like, no fish oil. Take shots. Mercury shots. Right. Right. Mercury shots. That'll, that'll take care of you. Just don't. Uh, radiation, good. Just, just not vitamin C. I go to InfoWarsHealth.com to find the new Beyond Tangy Tangerine, folks. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. 
I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. It really is incredible to see these big pharma reps all over TV, print, going, don't take vitamins, don't take minerals. By the way, we want to make it a law. We can forcefully give you shots. I mean, I take that personal. Uh, Paul Offit makes me really mad. And I know it makes you mad, pharmacist Ben Fix, because of the Bad. incredible things you've seen real nutrition uh, do for people. That's why this is a revolution getting off their drugs and getting on high quality super nutrients uh, like the Pollen Burst Plus uh, or the Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0. I mean, and then you also support the Liberty Movement, but that's all at InfoWarsHealth.com, a side issue. Finishing up with the point you were making. Well, you know, you, you hit the nail on the head. I dedicated my life, my professional life, my personal life, my spiritual life to helping people get better. And then I have to, uh, I have to do the, uh, clean up the muck, the mess that's left behind by guys like Dr. Offit writing these ridiculous articles talking about vitamins, uh, why, why we don't need vitamins. Are you kidding me? These things are essential, and the word essential means that you are dead in the water without them. And then he's going to tell you that you should be vaccinated as opposed to getting uh, used using vitamins and using nutritional supplementation. Listen, I could sit here and talk till I'm blue in the face about the importance of supplements and the importance of vitamins, but everybody out there, you owe it to yourself, you owe it to your family to at least give nutritional supplementation a shot. And this is even more imperative if you're dealing with some kind of disease state, which is, the way I look at it in my experience, the uh, disease states are nothing more than the manifestation of nutritional deficiencies, not just in vitamins, but also in minerals. But no one can deny that it's a huge part of it, bare minimum. And But then hospitals do nothing for nutrition. If you come in, if you old people get scurvy all the time. It's on record with their skin falling off. They bump a wall, a hole. No one says, hey, are you getting vitamin C? That's right. They if just go, say, oh, we're going to put you on you know, these drugs. If you go to the doctor with rashes, with little spots, little red spots on your legs or on your arms, the doctor's going to say he has no idea what causes it. They just happen. But if you go look up scurvy or go to Google Images and look up scurvy, you're going to see the exact same dots that your dermatologist will give you uh, some steroid or immune suppressant and tell you he has no idea what's causing it. You'll see the exact same uh, a picture of the exact same condition uh, under the heading of scurvy. This is because these are subclinical conditions. They're not bad enough to cause you to die, but they're bad enough to cause you to be miserable. And all you need is small amounts of nutritional. Hey, what's the uh, what's the mineral that uh, just? Uh, I was reading a few last year mainline study about knocking out uh, people getting colon cancer. What was the mineral? So, probably selenium. Which yeah, one that was it. One of those powerful anti-cancer uh, nutrients you could take. Doc Wallace been talking about selenium for 20 years. Oh, hey, so I know why I got you on. What about this study that was out yesterday, big scientific study, if we can pull that up, that men that skip breakfast oh, uh, are like 20-something times more likely uh, to have heart attacks or Oh. Well, Kellogg sponsored Kellogg sponsored that, and General Mills sponsored that study. That's a study put out by the cereal industry. You know who started the big breakfast idea was a guy named uh, uh, Paul uh, uh, Bernays, Edward Bernays. Yeah. Who I'm sure mm -hmm. you know about. He's the guy who came up with the whole big breakfast idea. What you want to do for you breakfast, believe in the opposite, right? You believe in a lot. No, you do not want a big breakfast. You want a very small breakfast. In fact, you don't want a big anything when it comes to meals. You want nutritional supplements. You want smoothies. You want liquid nutrients. But you don't want to put a big load on your digestive system first thing in the morning. And you don't want to put a big load on your digestive system at any time. The key to immune health, the key to health in general, is to make sure that your digestive system is as clean and pristine as possible. Alex, even when you eat a good meal, you activate inflammation and you activate the immune system, let alone the standard American diet, let alone the crap they want you to eat, let alone the crap that gets advertised on TV to our kids and to our family. The less you eat, the longer you live, and one of the keys to restricting your calories is to get yourself on a good nutritional supplement program. And as I was saying before I went to the break, I can talk till I'm blue in the face about the importance of supplementation, but once you try a nutritional supplement program like the Beyond Tangy Tangerine or any nutritional supplement program, once you get on high doses of vi vitamin C, once you're getting your iodine, once you're getting your selenium, once you're making sure you're getting enough protein and essential fatty acids, your body will give you all of the evidence. That exactly, you folks. Just take the InfoWars Health Challenge. Info InfoWarsHealth.com, incredible products, and your purchase to support the broadcast. Pharmacist Ben, thank you so much. Thank you, Alex. We'll be listening to your morning show every day at uh, GCNLive.com.
Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.